please tell me a bit about the importance of the Fulbright program and what U.S. alumni can do to support and advocate for continued funding of the program. In my view, the Fulbright program is one of the most important diplomatic tools the United States has. It is essential for helping to build bridges at the grassroots level, which frankly is where diplomacy often is most important. That building those, that connected tissue that helps to link societies together, it makes it much easier to discuss otherwise very challenging issues. Whether that is sending Americans abroad or bringing foreigners to the United States, these are gifts that keep on giving, that is actually vitally important. And it seems to me the most important thing that Fulbright alumni can do is to continue to advocate for the importance of the program. Advocate with the representatives and the Congress, but also, frankly, to serve as important informal ambassadors in their own communities so that we were able to continue to have a consensus in the United States amongst the entire populace the importance of outreach and engagement with the rest of the world. What are some specific ways that U.S. alumni can engage with their local communities at the grassroots level? They can engage with local civic organizations, they can volunteer to engage with local community colleges or other higher institutions, institutions of higher learning, even with high schools, uh, just to encourage Americans to have their eyes beyond the horizon to think more broadly about America's place in the world, not only as a country, but also in the country. They can also obviously engage with their representatives in their home districts where they belong to continue to talk about the importance of American engagement. Can you imagine a world where the Fulbright program does not exist? If the Fulbright program did not exist, we would have to create it. It is that important, in my judgment, for improving and strengthening American engagement. <laughs> How has the Fulbright program affected your life personally? My father-in-law uh, was one of the first Fulbrights from Ethiopia. My wife is Ethiopian and my father-in-law came to the United States as a Fulbright scholar in 1964 to study civil engineering at the master's degree level at Purdue University. And those sorts of linkages he made with the United States were vital when my wife's family uh, fled Ethiopia after the communist revolution that overthrew and provided Selassie and came to the United States with nothing but the clothes in their back and two suitcases. And some 30 years later, my wife is a double board certified clinical care physician who has helped to save the lives of many Americans. And part of that is a direct result of the linkages that were built between the Fulbright program and my wife's family over 50 years ago. Do you have any last words to say about the Fulbright program and, and how we can support it for another 70 years? Fulbright is an American treasure, but like all treasures, it has to be protected. And it's not something that one can simply assume will continue. It's one that we have to continue to support, to even, perhaps even to fight for, uh, because it is that important for our future engagement with the rest of the world. Thank you so much.